Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Curiosity Box and this video is all about my brand new collection of artworks so these are artworks I bought and all the money for these from me buying these artworks goes to charity the artworks are from the Twitter art exhibit and it's been going for about um, six or seven years now and each year it takes place in a different country and anybody all over the world is can send in a postcard size original artwork and then they go on a display um, in the specific country that the exhibition is and people can see all the artworks and then people can buy the artworks and all the money goes to a um, different charity each year so I only found out about it this year but I'm definitely going to send in a postcard for next year's exhibition which will be in Australia so the exhibition this year took place in England and the gallery was in Stratford and the charity for this year is Molly Ollies and they help um, kids who are dealing with illness so they're a brilliant charity and so the artworks were on exhibition in Stratford and then eventually they were put onto the Molly Ollies online shop I'll put a link in the description and the artworks are £30 each and I went a bit, I got a bit obsessed with it and I bought quite a few but um, I thought as I'm privileged to be have the money to get them I thought I would get them because I love art and I just fell in love with the artworks that I bought so I, I stopped at anything, I stopped all other spends and just focused it on buying some artwork and I love them. And there are, there are hundreds more artworks that you can still pick up from the online shop and I'll put a link in the blue box so please do go check it out and please um, go to the Twitter Art Exhibit website and you can find out how you can take part for the 2018 exhibit so let's start with showing the postcards I was going to show the back of the postcards with people's details on so you could check them out but perhaps maybe they don't want to to for all of the details to be on display so I'm just going to list their Twitter names in the description box so you can go and check them out So this is um, pretty much random order because I just, well I just ha um, tried to count how many I bought and I lost count but I'm going to go through each one and say why I really love it because I just love them. Um, so this is a beautiful, it's, I just, it's because it feels safe. This is called Thank You and it's by Tina Ottawa or is it is that T or an R? Re, uh, Rena Ottawa at Rena Ottawa Sorry if I get anybody's name pronunciations wrong and so this is beautiful and because um, in my house where I put artworks up it's like for a different there's different parts of my brain who were like sort of different styles so this is like a bedroom one for my bedroom which is um bright and colorful and it's sort of a sweet style for the bright and colorful bouncy ticker person oh that is me see so this is beautiful and i love this heart and how it's like holding up the curtain it's gorgeous um, this one uh, is called Life in a Drop of Water 
and it's like all the micro in the microcosm of water and it's absolutely beautiful this is by at rosemary earlier one and I just love the colours and the concept of it and I want because I've been thinking about what frames I want to put these in I'm not very good I haven't framed them yet because I'm not very good at understanding measurements and shapes so my mum and dad are going to help me to frame them but I thought this looked cool and I've seen frames that are shaped like coral I thought that looked cool because it's like the connects with the sea And then this next one, this is called Happy Spring and it's by At Malada's Art and I love this one because we, um, when we had the house in France it, there was a big field and a lot of it was field and this reminds me of when we used to walk down to the bottom of the field and then you'd look back and see the, the cottage that we had and it was really fun so that's gorgeous and then I got this one, I don't know this one is called Simple Complexity 3 and it's by At Angus Franz I just, I love the colours I just love the colours. My brain is a very visual brain, so it's automatically attracted to visuals. I don't really think in words. I'm not like a word person. Everything in my head is images and Google images search and everything is images so that all connect together. So I, I love the colours of this one. So this next one is this one. This is called Cherry Blossom and it's by at Cherry and Art and it just it like reminds me of the 70s because there's this chair from IKEA that's got all these green sort of palm frond print on it and it's like the 70s when the 70s houses used to have I've seen it, there's this picture in one of my books and it's like a 70s house area it's like a greenhouse of plants and it's awesome and that just, this reminds me of it and I, just, I love the feeling I get in my head when I think of that so this next one is gorgeous I, get, I found a frame to put this in which is a really over the top sparkly frame this is called Shh and it's a gorgeous portrait of David Bowie and it's by at Ginky56 and oh, it's just gorgeous it's very, you've got to have it so um, some of these I'm grouping together into a specific sort of, oh, I've forgotten the word cur curation of, because they have a particular theme in my head so this one is called Sunset OIA Sunset and it's by Joanne O'Meara at Joanne O'Meara and I, I love I love architecture and the buildings and I like the mysteriousness of looking out of this building and this um, is probably going to go in my Doctor Who a, a frame of the ones that I categorise as Doctor Who in my head. It's awesome. And then this one is called The Shapeshifter and it's by at Sean Boy X and it's just awesome because I remember um, when I went to the Buffy convention one the first time I went to convention I got on the mechanical spider and I was really brave 
because all my, all my um, life at PE class people had bullied me because I couldn't control my body. Well, I managed to get on the mechanical spider and stay on it for ages and I had a picture of myself taken and this reminded me of that and I love it. This one is called Hidden Dream and it's by at Mary Grew Art and the colours of this are gorgeous especially I love the greens in it and um, it reminds me of Versailles. I've started watching Ver the Versailles TV programme and the theme tune it reminds me of this and the colours of this remind me of Versailles. So, I want to put it in like one of them gold fancy themes because it's like the theme tune and the theme of the programme all mixed into these colours. So this one is Mermaid Like and it's at everlasting underscore art and this is very pre raphaelite of the Lady in the Lake. So it's just gorgeous. So I thought it was very pre-Raphaelite and gorgeous. This next one is just, it caught my eye because I saw the pictures of the display on Twitter and they showed pictures of all the postcards um, put up. And this one caught my eye. I love um, sort of surreal, like graphical kind of art. Some stuff that pops out at you and I love this one. This is called Untitled and it's by at Jenny underscore B. I think that's an underscore. So it's awesome. So yeah. So this next one is gorgeous because it's pink. I love pink and I love fairies. I don't, I'm not a fairy, I don't dress up as a fairy, but I love fairies and there's this kind of letter of fairy and it's a gorgeous cat and I love cats. This is called Queen Brie and it's by at Sacred V Studio and it's so cute. This one is called Colour and it's by at Jackal 0669954 on Twitter and I love the colours in the shapes. Really pretty. And then I got this one and this is called Crocus Carpet and it's by at Tracy Jane's Art and I love all the colours of it. I love the abstraction but it's also like the massive colour you see when you see flowers. This one is called The Orange Tree and it's by at AJ Said Art. And I love landscapes because when I, I just, because I like Watership Down, right? And the, my favourite bit in Watership Down is when the rabbits, they all get to the top of that hill and then you see the landscape and it's just like freedom and wow. And it's awesome, so that's what I like about this. And I love the, the tree. Gorgeous. This one is for my Doctor Who frame. Because uh, when I saw this online, I thought this bit was uh, like a 3D attachment. It was, it's done so well, it looks so 3D. And it's a compass. And I thought it's very mysterious. And this is called Quiet Time. And it's by at Sacred V Studio. And it's just gorgeous. It's really cool. I love it. So this um, artwork is 
Mount Rundle, Banff National Park, Canada, and it's by At Dory R. And I love mountains. I realised during this art exhibit what kind of things I like. So I thought I love the mountain and the the water. I just think the mountains done so amazing with the clouds. This next one is called Pisces and it's by at Bewilder Nadi Art. Bewilder Nadi Art. And I, I love the colours and I love how um, they've done this, the beams of light coming through the water. I love how you sharp you can get the colour. These this is coloured pencil. Green. This is beautiful. I wish I could get my pen clean my pencil work that cleanly. Why oh, is amazing. This one is called Paper Trail and it's gorgeous. It's that it's a collage with watercolour and a beautiful quote. And this is by at S-T-R-B-N-G-R-T-S-T -S and it's really pretty and I, lo I just love the quote which is about sharing art and sharing creativity and reminds me that I have the important part to play in making art and sharing it and that helps the planet. This one is a gorgeous bear it's called Sand Bear and it's by At Quilt Spirit and I've um, got some cool sort of decorations that I got at Christmas and I'm thinking of putting those like around this because they're, they're like um, bear faces but done like really cool. I will, um, once these are all framed and put up in my house, I will do another um, slideshow video of showing you how I framed everything. So there's a gorgeous bit. This one is called Series Resilience and it's by At Claval Mary. And um so it goes that way, sorry. Uh this isn't going in my Doctor Who frame because I've got a Doctor Who bootcase in my bedroom and that's sort of like my Doctor Who area. So it's good because I thought it looked cool with all the patterns and they look like, like planets and stuff. This one is very Picasso inspired. This is called Kissing to be Clever and it's by at J Seb Ra A. And I, lo I love the colours and the bold lines of it. It's so pretty. All of these are so pretty. Now this one is called Spring Flowers by at Vintage by C W. And these are gorgeous flowers. I like I love the pen work and the purple and I think I'm gonna give this one to my mum to put up in a, a bit, wherever she likes because it's really pretty this one is called Kyoto and it's by at I draw and I was watching um, a show about on YouTube a show about um, gay codes about the young girls who train up to be a myco and a geiko and the ASMRness of their how softly they talk was lovely and then it related to this image in my head and I love all the blues and the colours again it's a coloured pencil and it's beautiful this one is um, untitled it's by Capo Artist and it's 
like a landscape, well not a landscape, a sort of cityscape, quite abstract, but there's like people and beards, well I don't know if this is intentional, but it's like people in beards and people walking and you can sort of see all the activity, so it does it. This one is called Ballerina Classica and it's by at G Conboy Art and I watched um I've been, I've always been sort of had this feeling of sort of being into ballet and I went to one ballet class once um, I thought there would be more people there but it was just me and the teacher and I felt really awkward. I felt totally orcs and then she played a ditty on the piano and got me to just jump about to it. I just felt like a right twat, so I never went back. Sorry for swearing. I just felt silly. But I've always like watched been interested in ballerine ballet and I sort of on YouTube I like watching the ballerinas talk about their point shoes. So I thought this is pretty and it will go nice in the bright pink frame, I think. This one is called Thought and it's this gorgeous beard and I love the colours because there's a mix of pinks and heart, it's got hearts and I love, I just love colours so much. And this is good, I'm going to put this with the Picasso inspired one because of the colours they look think they complement each other. So, this is called Thought and it's by at Sona Beam. It's your people. This one is called From Salisbury Castle and it's by at Frank C Art and it's a landscape with a tree and I, I, lo I love when fields, you can see all the fields in the background. This reminds me, and then the head shapes, this reminds me when we go to places in the car and I look out the window and look at all the fields and then you sort of do a music video in your head. Uh, I love it. So that would probably go above my fireplace because that's where the sort of... Because there's that tick me and then there's a sophisticated gentleman old-fashioned gentleman and that's the area in my house it's going to go. I know people, people, people watching this probably don't have a clue what I'm on about but see so this one is called Surf Main with Love and it's by At Cam the Artist and it's sort of a, it's water close up of sea and I love how it's done uh, how you can see the sea foam and that and the water it's like the sunset people are so good at seascapes it's amazing like i've discovered i really like seascapes water so this one is called number 18 and it's by at i underscore spicy and i love it because it's like um it's like the ocean when NASA, or in the Atlas, when NASA do pictures showing Earth, and it looks like that. And it's really beautiful, and like the ocean. So I think that would look good in a sort of translucent blue frame. This one is really fun. It's called Hashtag Love and Hope, and it's by at Lawrence Duvalmy. Hang on, did I say who that? Yeah, I did. So this, um, this caught my eye because of the balloons and how re they like they're gorgeous. Because when you stand back from it, they're very realistic, and it's like a tweet, and it's so cute. And I want to put it in a frame with the birds on, and it says, "Somewhere over the rainbow, skies are blue." And the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true. Hashtag artist sharing. Hashtag sharing is caring. So I really want to put it in a frame with like two, a bird or two little birds on top because it's like a tweet. This one is called After the Rain. And 
it's by at Anne Henby and it's a beautiful ladybird. I like ladybirds, they're one of the book, they're a bug because I don't like bugs but they're one of the bugs that I really like and that are really friendly and that I'm not scared of. I like ladybirds, they're awesome. This one is called Winter Sun Lake District and it's by at Mandy Allen 29 and it captures the moment when the sun um, rises over the landscape and you get the beam of light and that's just the best moments. Um, sun's top 10 moments. Number 10 will dazzle you. <laughs> so that is like that. It's also that this one is brilliant because it's a stitched one and it's called Once in a Very Blue Moon and it's in textiles and it's by at Arty Mess Lorne and it, it's just a love little and it's gold thread and a leaf, gorgeous leaf and so oh, it's just so lovely look at all the colours Look at all the stitch, almost two ages. It's beautiful. Then this one, I'm going to have a frame of faces. And this one is going in my faces frame. And this is, um, doesn't have a title, but it's by At Kathy T Studios. And it's beautiful. I just, I love how it's, oh, gorgeous. Then I saw this one, and this is getting in my face's frame. It's called Wildflower, and it's by at, I think that's underscore MS Lady 88 and I love the flowers in that, so, uh, uh, I just love the expression on the face. It just jumps out at me. That like all these are where it's jumped out at me. And it's like, oh, I want that one, I want that one, I want that one. And then I got this one because he's adorable and I love him. This is called Be With Catapult. And it's by at C. Delanugari. I can't read that, sorry. but it's gorgeous and it's a, a calico kitty and I love calico tortoiseshell kitties, they're gorgeous and I have my own cat, he's, he's usually meowing but he's, I think he's got to sleep and this kitty got a bird and it's a kitty and I love the kitty and I love the blue. So uh, this one is called the Wachusset Reservoir and it's by at C.A. Papas Art and it reminds me of when I went down to, when I was in sixth form with her, the, I did a comic about this, I was in sixth form with this lovely girl who was a bit like Phoebe from Friends and one day we had to do some studies by the big um, lake thing down the lane from college and it's just really peaceful and it was really fun because I really got along with it and it was like one one to one time with it and just sitting by this by the water and sketching and just and having a nice break from all the hustle and bustle up at college so it's what this reminds me of This one I got for my mom. This is um, called Dragonfly Blooms and it is by at Kylie Fogarty Art and she is going to be um, overseeing and organising the exhibition for 2018 in Australia. And this is beautiful with beautiful sharp line work and it's a dragonfly. It's awesome 
that is a, a um, secret I can't avoid it because oh she's going to do the next year's exhibit I get to get her heart so get her her artwork so we've got a connection my brain works weird but I just so this one is called Aurora's Boring Alice and the twitter is at paul yeah, underscore court and I got this to go in my Doctor Who frame because it's like the Doctor Who vortex and it's like the vortex in the sky and it's like it's like colours, Doctor Who colours colours of Doctor Who in the vortex so that's going in my vortex in my Doctor Who collection this is also going in my Doctor Who collection it's called Fairground and it's by at Sarah Pooley 30 and this is it's just cool because it, it reminds me of a bit in Doctor Who what I see but there's like like this more like classic who like when they used to find these weird places and they just walk around and it's and that's why I like this because it's amazing and it's like the hexagonal floor reminds me of the bits in Doctor Who. Just I love it. Then this one is is so sweet. And this is called Us and it's by at Dreamy Namath. And I love how strongly graphical it is. Is that yay? So I like um pictures that make me feel safe and secure. And um, these do, and this I got this one because the man in my head um, decided it's very calming one to look at. If you're having a meltdown and you need something calming because it's like when your feelings coming into dock from having rough seas in your head, and you calm down and you breathe. It's like um, coming home. And this is called Dockside, and it's by at Joanne Quinn Levin. And it's just very calming, soothing picture. And then this one is also calming. It's called Freezing Spirit, and it's by at anti underscore plastic back. And it's like when you was a kid. If it is kind of like it's like a subplot of front of a fence with trees. It's like it's like a kid's feeling of when you're safe and the days are just summer and you c there's no thinking about bad stuff and it's just a summer freedom and just feeling good. So, so they're all the ones I but and I'm so happy with them all and I can't wait to get them on my wall and framed and so if you want to there there is over 400 artworks that you can purchase and also some posters you can purchase at, on the website so you want to go to www mollyolly.co.uk and then click on shop and you can see all of the postcards and artworks you can buy so I really do urge you to go and um, choose an artwork to purchase because all the money will be going to this charity and do share the website and get people to buy the artworks so they can raise even more money so and um, a um, thank you to Kat who organised this year's exhibit and thank you to everybody who's done all this beautiful art and I will definitely do an artwork for next year I'm not quite sure what um, I shall be doing for it yet but if you've got any suggestions for me on Twitter about what kind of artwork do you think I'd be, I'd be show me off to my best ability that would be help a lot but so when um 
and then if you follow um, Twit or Tixi bit then you'll find out when you can submit your own original artworks and everybody everybody can send in an artwork it's just one per person but I think everybody on the whole planet should do an artwork and send it in and so I wish you all lots of love and lots of peace and calmness and happiness um yay I hope you have enjoyed this video and thanks for watching yay